How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got Zach behind the camera, got John in the back. We're going to a golf course pond, I think. We've never been to it before. Heard there's some giants in there. But uh, we're gonna go try to check it out and uh, you know, probably, probably do a little pond hopping today. Uh, before we get too far in the video though, these are our subscriber catches of the week. Uh, appreciate these guys for sending in their pictures as always. If you do want to see your picture on the channel, we're backed up a couple weeks, but you can email me at baitwithtate at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram, and I'll do my best to get your picture up here. So, yeah, guys, we are quickly approaching 3,000 subscribers, so if you enjoy what you see throughout this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'll be very appreciated. So, uh, yeah, guys, it's been raining terribly. Like, it has been absolutely pouring the rain, and uh, we've just been waiting for an opportunity to go fishing. Hope we'll go out here to this new golf course pond. See if we can catch a fish and uh, just have a good old time. Y'all stay tuned. Well, guys, we went to the pond. The pond is posted up and down. Like, have you ever seen that many posted signs? No. Like legit. And I mean, it is just swarming like with cairns. The uh, there, there's like there's like 15 cairns walking up down the street. And I don't feel like making no cairns mad today. Uh, there's a day for that, but not today. I think we're going to go fish a pond. Maybe that pond by the interstate we've been eyeballing. We've actually fished it one time before. Got some giant gills in it, and um, you know I think that's what I think that's probably what we're going to do. So uh, let's stop by the tackle store, make a little trip. It's about a 20, 30 minute drive, but uh, you know I think it'd be worth it. We get there and catch some big old slabs. All right, guys, we're at the pond. We're going to try to act quickly because I don't know if we're allowed to fish this pond. It is on a college campus. We come up this pond. If you guys can't tell, there is the interstate. This pond is right on the side of the interstate. So, there's cast number one. Oh, there's a cop. Well, the cop didn't stop, so he he must could care less. So that's good. I haven't even got a bite on this. Well, guys, I don't know how long it's been since I've talked to you all. We're at a public pond right now. I'm gonna try to throw a Senko around and see if I can catch a fish out here. So we got some overcast, so they should bite. If there's any fish in here, they should bite. And I've caught fish out of here before, but you know, I don't know what kind of size they got. So let's see what they got. See if we can get this done. So we're actually in somebody's backyard kind of. I don't know really know where this pond becomes public and where it's not public. But, you know, I'm just going to kind of float around the edges and see if I can get away with it. Zach says he had a blow-up, so you never know. This may be promising. Oh, fish. <laughs> there we go. Well, well, what's happened there? There we go. Little one on the Senko, a little dark looking bass, man. Nice. Very nice. To be honest with you, I'm somewhat surprised. <laughs> Didn't think we was going to catch one, just to be completely honest. Um, but we did. This guy's hooked pretty good. Bottom of the mouth. Small guy. But it is a highly pressured public pond, so we're going to take him. On the Senko, that's a, actually a Guggen Squad lunker log. It's right here, kind of under this tree a little bit. A little bit of a drop off with the grass right there, and that's exactly where I caught him. Fish. So, is that a little better? No, same size. Same size. Eh, maybe a little bit bigger. Nothing to brag about by any means. But a bass in a pressured pond, anyway, you'll take it, man. These pressured ponds, you got to take what you can take. So, fish number two. 
and uh, we now guys it's late in the evening we got some cloudy skies low pressure so you know it's good to, actually good conditions for fishing so it's not bad i'm just throwing i'm actually getting my bites right on the edge where these weeds kind of drop off it's a very grassy pond and uh, that's kind of where i've caught both those fish so i think that's going to be the recipe so that's kind of where i'm really going to take my time at it's right at the edge of where i can see these weeds it's kind of like a little drop off not much about that oh here's fish ah he stole my worm well folks it's the next day we come to this pond right here this is a pond we fish quite often but he finally mowed around here man that is gonna be awesome it means we don't have to walk in weeds up to our necks today so we might actually get a little bit more fishing done kind of cover more of the pond now we have access to it so yeah um we struggled yesterday the rain has been killer we're not been able to film and fish ran out of sankos ran out of daylight so we're gonna try to catch some fish we know there's some good fish in here so yeah hopefully we can make this a decent episode today's sunday by the way so if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded this just happened this morning good fresh content start out with two of my favorite baits look at this color frog man it's a spro i'm definitely gonna be throwing that i've had that frog for a while just haven't thrown it it's a different color it's kind of like a sexy shad looking color but the bottom's actually kind of transparent so see if we can get a bite on this thing pretty pumped about using it pretty cool that's great all right here we go we got it out attempt number two there we go ah, missed it <laughs> dang it i think he's too small to eat it and i didn't give him enough time i might come back to this in a minute i need to put some fish on the board tank You wacky rigging? Yeah. Well, guys, we're sucking it up right now. These fish just aren't willing to bite. John's caught a couple on a wacky rig, but they're like miniature fish. And I'm not really down to catch those. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully we'll come across some fish that's willing to eat. If you guys wanna see some fish catching videos, go check my cards, cause I'll try to leave some up there. And I'll also leave some videos down in the description. So go check them out. Pick some off here. Nothing to brag about. He's a fish, though. <laughs> Take that. Jesus. He ate it. He ate it deep. Unfortunately, I'm kind of relieved to see a 10 inch fish if, if he's even that. Tough fishing right now, tough fishing. Sanko produced on that one though. Let's see if we can get a few more. Honestly, at this point, I really don't care what size they are. I got a ride over there sitting, sitting on the ground, so don't, is that a decent fish? Well, there we go. <laughs> there you go that's content there we go that's about the best i could hope for there's a fish be the one that busted swan He's about the same size. He slung my my worm off. I think it's the one that probably just uh, busted. That's when I was kind of casting that. There he is. That's a nice fish. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find that worm. Nice fish. I, that, that's really not a nice fish, but you know, for today, it's a giant. So, let's see, where did he fling my worm off at? Here it is. Try to keep it pretty clean up here where this isn't my property. Oh, 
one. They're up tight against that bank, like under that, that the overhangs there. All right, dude, calm down. Nothing big, but we're getting bites now, thankfully. So, it's usually the other way around. That pond down there usually produces more fish, but that one down there just sucked today. So I guess this up, this appears the happening place. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Ah, sorry, dude. I swung him way back on the bank. I didn't know he was on, so I tried to get him on the bank real quick. He's just tiny. It's another one, though. Sorry, guy. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. It was rough starting out with today, and I know this is probably a short video because we didn't really do that good, but these things right here has saved many of a day for me, and let me show you what they are. They're Senkos. But they're called bait fish color. And, you know, I don't really know where else that you can get this color at. The only place I really ever saw it was like Bass Pro Shops. I'm sure there's probably companies out there with this same color. This has absolutely saved days for me. I feel like this is a color that just gets neglected. White, bait fish looking colors, shad style colors. They get a lot of attention in a lot of other baits, but a lot of people don't throw them in their Senkos. And they just absolutely catch fish. Guys, be sure to go check me out on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Fishing With Tate. I try to answer all my DMs if I can. So if you guys want to send me a message, ask some advice, give me some advice, feel free to do so. Guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Like I always say, I post every Sunday, every Thursday. But turn on your little post notifications so you get reminded every time I post a new video. And I think that's all I need to say. So I will see you next time on another episode of Fishing With Tate.